Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today we are doing another flip cup spin because I really like the last one. Um, so I'm going to use stick to the primary colours. Um, we've got phthalo blue, deep yellow and this one's a bit of a mix. It's actually the deep yellow mixed with crimson red from Renault Art. Um, but these two are from Reeves. And then I've got my iridescent median, also from Reeves, mixed up as if it's a paint. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually kind of blend that with the blue, cause. But I'm gonna do that in the cup. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna, cause I don't have a lot of the blue, but I want it on the bottom so it comes out on the top. Does that make sense? So I'm gonna put a little spray of silicon. Um, into the cup so that it makes the cup sli slimy and it all falls out with ease. That's the target anyway. Um, so we're going to start off with the phthalo blue. There's no, I mixed up a whole whole bottle of this. Um, And I'm going to actually swish those around so that they're actually quite well mushed. <laughs> then I'm going to add some, no, I'm going to add the red because I prefer that way. And go back for some more blue. Last of that out there. If you're scraping the sides, you've got to be really careful that you don't scrape any of the dry paint off the edges and get chunky bits because that's not cool. Oops. Drop it. I'm reaching over the sides of my box, which is why I'm not quite so dex dexterous. And I'm pouring from quite up high so that we get quite a bit of mixing between the two, between the colours. Um, some more red. And some more yellow. And what do I know? Is that enough paint? Yes, no, yes, yes it is. Okay, cool. So we've got our spinner underneath. This is a children's pottery wheel. Um, and I'll put the link to the same one on Amazon. So if you want to go and see what it looks like and how it works, so you can find it in your own shop. Or if you want to use that affiliate link to buy from Amazon, I'd be very grateful with that too. Uh, so pretty. Much, I'm not going to put paint around the outside like I did on the last one I'm just going to see how far this goes and um, see what magic gets created so I haven't prepped this other than wiping it down with alcohol um, there is a piece of sellotape underneath the record to stop it falling through the hole and um, yeah let's see ah no that was not planned. Did you? Can you tell that wasn't planned? I can. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Let's get some paint back up on there, eh? Come on, paint. Up you come. I was wondering about doing a puddle pour, so there we go. We've got puddles. too close to the edge. That's not cool. I'm not happy about that. Alright. Well, if you've been watching my channel, you know that when it doesn't work, I just keep playing with it till it does. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, let's just get some of this paint a little bit more spread. 
I'm not a fan of the colour that this green goes. This blue and yellow make together. But then I'm not a fan of green, so that's not really hard. Um, so I've got no more of the blue. What am I going to do? What would it like me to do? What's right about this I'm not getting? Okay. Because if I spin this, this big lump's just going to go flying off the other side. That doesn't work for me. Um... Try and get it into the middle. Alright. I'm going to spin it. Let's see what we get. I'm not promising anything. But I may be pleasantly surprised. Let's give it a go. it I like it as it is yes it is awesome Nessie I have my girlfriend here visiting from out of town and so she she's standing over my back so what I'm gonna do is because I like that as it is um, and I don't want to have to spin it enough to fill in all these gaps I'm gonna get my um, pre-mixed Mars Black and pour it. Oh, what's that? Whatever that is, it can go away. And put plenty in these gaps so that when I quickly turn it on and turn it off again, they go flying off and fill in. That's pretty. I like it. Make the most of a sticky situation. What else is possible now? When you ask a question like that, you get awareness of what else you can be. One, two, three, four. So we just need a couple of little dots here and there. And that is pretty cool. I like it. Thumbs up from Nessie. All right, I'm going to wash my hands. <laughs> and so I don't drip all over it because that would be uncool. Okay, so I've washed my hands. Now it's time to... Get the torch out and get rid of any bubbles. And bring up any cells that would like to come and play. Yep, there's definitely some cells coming up, just little ones, just little pinprick ones, because there's been a lot of um, a lot of stirring in amongst that. <laughs> Whatever that lump is out. And that looks like a lump too, but it might just be a air bubble on the centre point. That's cool. Alright, I get you down and I'll show you close ups. Because that's got a bit of reflection on there. Okay. So we do have just tiny little little cells. Let me see if I can get rid of the shine. And there's our iridescence all going 
Funky and Cool. Kind of wishing I'd put the black round first beforehand, but I didn't, so it hasn't, so whatever. You know what? I like it as it is, so it's got some funky swirly bits, and I really like that. And this lighting is not doing fun things, so sorry about that. Okay, so... Are you willing to drag the paint off the floor and dump it back on the canvas? <laughs> How does it get any better than that? So I'm going to let this dry and come back to you and show you it when it's dry. And hopefully I'll be able to get it without so much reflection. It's, um, it's cool. I like it. It's funky. So here it is, all finished and, well, all dry. Um, well, everyone that's looked at it has gone, didn't you paint that part? Actually, and you all stand witness to the fact that I put paint on these bits. <laughs> but they just look like shiny record that you can even see the lines in. How's it getting any better than that? Um, so lots of yummy iridescence and the rest of it and you can definitely see where the iridescent didn't go because the black is quite a matte black so I'll be interested to see how that changes when it gets um, when it gets sealed so look at all of that iridescence yeah, look at it from a different angle it's quite blue but there is a lot of iridescence in there It's awesome. I like it. It's very dark though. Like, um, uh, see if I can get it to tone down. That's about accurate as to how dark it actually is. Um, so, yeah. But I like it. I think it's cool. It's funky. And what else is possible? And I hope you're enjoying the nesting birds up in the, up in the tree behind me. It's coming down to sunset now and uh, they're enjoying their little noisy squabbles. Has <laughs> it getting any better than that? Alright, thank you so much for joining me and how much fun can you have? And come share what fun you're having and join us for fun on the Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook page. Um, we'd love to have you join the group and share your pictures and um, share your knowledge and learn from others and what else is possible so thanks for having me thanks for joining me and what magic can we all create today bye bye